Here at this factory, tucked into the forest next to Malta, New York, a three-hour drive north from New York City, is a nearly three million square foot space dedicated to U.S. semiconductor manufacturing. In our modern day, everything you use has chips involved with it. Multinational semiconductor manufacturer Global Foundries, headquartered at this location, runs this facility. Here, they produce 400,000 of these 12-inch wafers annually. Each wafer contains anywhere from 100 to 4,500 semiconductor microchips used in everything from computers, smartphones, and automobiles to national defense. The semiconductor chip is really the, the brain of the device, and it allows that device to function and provide logic. The United States invented semiconductor microchips, but currently only accounts for about 10% of global manufacturing, with more than 75% of production occurring in East Asia. If we cannot import the semiconductors, you know, the automakers are impacted, the smartphone devices are impacted, right? The ramifications are so huge. Growing U.S.-China tensions and Beijing's threats to occupy Taiwan, a major global chip producer, can put the U.S. semiconductor imports at risk. The United States got a taste of the microchip shortage as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, with the auto industry being hit the hardest. The automakers uh, needed to find out really quickly where are we getting these chips and why don't we have enough of them. Right? And that was sort of a, a classic example of, oh my gosh, we have a shortage. Experts believe the shortage is easing, but still affecting car makers. Having both the manufacturing facilities and then these think tanks, the knowledge centers, both within the U.S. border, I think it's, it's really, really important for the U.S. On August 9th, 2022, President Joe Biden signed the Chips and Science Act into law, providing $52 billion to promote domestic semiconductor manufacturing and research and development, along with tax credits. The Biden administration called for a, a meeting. Secretary Raimondo was heavily involved at the White House where CEOs of car makers, CEO of, com of companies like Global Foundries came together. The meeting helped plant the seed to ink a decade, long-term deal, making Global Foundries the main semiconductor chip producer for General Motors, announced in February of 2023. As far as the GM agreement, I'd say first and foremost, that's about national security and bringing the technology onshore. And we're gonna be working over the next few years to make sure that technology works and that capacity comes online for them to avert the, the next crisis. Since the shortage, many American-based companies announced hundreds of billions in investment to semiconductor production stateside. Global Foundries plans to increase production at its New York facility and built a new $1 billion space on site, doubling its capacity. Keith Kosinski for VOA News, New York.